G'day, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, glad you could come and join me for this quick little video on modifying servos to uh, rotate continuously. I was doing a modification to the... Uh... That's a sorry sight, isn't it? <laughs> I was doing some modifications to the uh, tracked crawler here. I've printed up some new tracks. And I busted a servo testing them. So I've got some new servos here and uh, we're going to go through what I've done to make sure, or at least hopefully make sure, I'm not getting another set of servos for this tank, uh, track crawler, sorry. Um, and that's what we're going to do here. Uh, the track crawler upgrade video will uh, go into um, you know, the new tracks and uh, what I'm going to do with the track crawler. Uh, to possibly make it into a little FPV bulldozer, maybe, possibly. Um, but that's another video. But that's another video. This is uh, what we're doing now, so let's get into it. So here we are, and just pull this little thing apart. Some nice rubber seal there. So if you've not opened a servo before, they're held together by these four bottom screws that go all the way through. Do be careful not to strip the head. You have to be quite firm with it. And once these screws are removed, the top and bottom case are liable to come off in your hands. So there is our plastic bottom case. And, and as you can see here, there's a rubber seal along it. It goes right around the rim. So let's keep going in. Quick inspection. Let's bring this up to the camera again. There's no UV fluorescing on that. And if I can get this held here. Apart from the fact that my battery might be a little bit low, you can see the difference. Going to put some more waterproofing on the circuit board um, once I've done this other part of the servo. And let's um, gently, there we go. quite nice. So, nice ball bearing in there, although not sealed. The, uh, it's absolutely unsealed bearing. How close can I get this? Okay. You can see. And a, and a brass runner there, and this is a steel post for the other set of gears. So the modification that you're going to want to do is actually, well there are two ways you can do this. You can permanently um, trick the control board into thinking it's in a neutral position or by electronically by replacing the uh, tick, 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 potentiometer. By replacing uh, uh, the potentiometer with some resistors, uh, with an array of resistors set up such that it uh, it mimics the signal of the uh, potentiometer in mid-range, or you can take this thing apart. Looks like that whole plastic thing will come out before uh, that comes away fairly easily. take this gear off and uh, fix it such that it's not um, oh my god it's not going to touch the top of the potentiometer uh, I'm having some trouble taking the gear off here you can possibly get ingress through this way uh, my rubber seals come off there joy 
Um, which means uh, you'd have to lift out the potentiometer and do it that way, uh, which, which could be done. But you'd be better off to get this off. And you might just have to go around many times and gently get just under the edge of the gear so it's not sitting on that bearing. So you're not pushing on the bearing underneath or its, or its runner. And just gently. <laughs> yeah, all right, mate. Uh, gently work it up bit by bit. She's coming. There we go. So that is the top of the. Just you a good view. This is the top of the potentiometer. This is the bit that wants to be in the center. So this is a bit you will be playing with when it's plugged into uh, the, um, the uh, servo tester to, to make sure it's uh, not spinning idly one way or the other. And this is the bit you gotta sort out. One way or the other, you have to open that small square space there and make it such that it won't grab onto uh, top of the potentiometer. Um, in a lot of in a lot of setups, you'll find that this is uh, can be removed. It'll just fall out. It might just be press fitted in. In this case, you see it's behind this bearing here, and that bearing will be quite tight and quite delicate. So you run the risk of damaging it, taking it out. And I probably wouldn't bother doing that. What I would bother, which seems counterintuitive talking about damage, is I would bother to drill it. Um, this is a permanent conversion. And once you do this, it's done. And the only way to change it back is to, well, undrill it. And you're not doing that. Not in this universe. Uh, right, so now what we want to do is we need to um, drill that and set this up so that it is not spinning randomly. So I will move. So here we are at the power supply. Turn it on. As you can see, it's spinning wildly. Now, sorry about my arms getting in the way there. That is what you need to do. She's getting twitchy. She's building up error. Here she going. Oh, that's a little troubling. This might be for naught, but you know, even if I have an issue with these, they will make great winches. Well, you know, drivers for winches something else. So, as annoying that is, it, this could be this device here, right? If I switch to that manual position, you see, once the signal is reset, if I'm changing, you know what I mean, so going from automatic, from neutral position, down to automatic, to manual, and you see, it's like, oh, new signal. And do I drift? Yeah, okay. And same. Whoa. Went to automatic. Okay, so now comes the, um, the really fun bit. I've got to drill that other piece and we'll go and do that. But the really fun bit is actually putting it back together. Especially with uh, this part, Icula arrangement. I 
I'll test another load until I plug in another one. I've got the other one here that hasn't been touched yet. All right, so, so I've got to conformicate this, do that, come back here, plug it all in, re-neutralize it as I keep it, as I put it back together. And that is the process more or less in a nutshell. So let's get on with that. For those of you who may not be aware yet, this is conformal coating. It fluoresces under UV. You may have picked that up from before. So what I'm gonna do is give this a good old, oh my gosh, we're gonna get this open. Come on. These bottles are a bugger. Okay, okay, so we get it open. First step complete. And then we wanna put it on. We wanna make sure you get a nice, good coat. And how do you know if you've got a good coat? That's what the UV light's for. It'll tell you if there's any bits you've missed. As you can see, there's heaps of goop. Just heaps. I've even got some on my fingers. Let's quickly wipe that off. It does have a lot of warnings on the bottle. Anyway, right, so that will be left there to dry for the time being and put to one side, and we will work on the other little bit that needs modifying. Okay, here we go. That was great. Good work. It worked. Okay. Just dig the bits of plastic out of there. Don't need them. We don't need them. Okay, go ahead. And what's happened? It's broken off inside. Joy of joys. Yep. Okie dokie, we're going bigger. We're stepping up to the four mil. And we're going in. That's a grip. Sorry about this. But it needs to be done. And that's why. Okay. Looking much better. It's gonna more or less using the drill like a a big old uh, router, sort of cleaving off side bits. see through it. Could have made it easier. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, quick inspection of the teeth. All right. Okay. Well, most of the grease has gone on my fingers and is now on that towel there. So that's that done. At this point, I think I'm going to uh, get on with the other one, do that, and then come back when it's time to reassemble this one. And uh, I don't need to show you all this twice, do I? Catch you then. So here we are, we're gonna reassemble this puppy. I've just put the bottom back on to help me hold it all together there. 
want to plug it in. I want to remove this ring. Plug it in. Okay, okay, let's put it back together. Looks like my microphone just ran out of batteries. Alright, push that back on. It is tight. And then we push this back on. I don't like how that's sitting there. Ah, uh, there's a pin in the Side. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go around here with uh, a little bit of Vaseline. And so there we are. Now there might be one more step of tuning the servos once you have them actually attached to the model you want to use them on. That will be covered in an upcoming upgrade video for this very tracked crawler. Just getting a paint job, new tracks, some other tweaks and bips and bobs. But stay tuned for that. Um, and that's that. Now here's a couple of sneak peeks at a uh, what, uh, a couple of parts of a muddy adventure of the track crawler. Uh, these will be coming out in the uh, coming weeks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to uh, hit that notification button so YouTube uh, will let you know when I put out new videos. Please leave any comments or questions or suggestions you have in the comments section below. I'd love to see them. I hope everyone stays well out there. Has a great day. And I'll catch you next time.